Hi and welcome to Tabletop Gaming, my name is Charlie. Now I got asked a question in a comment on a previous video that was what are the best historical miniature war games to recommend to new starters, new players in the arena? Well, I didn't feel qualified enough to answer that question so I went to an adult and that adult happened to be John Treadway who is the editor of Miniature War Games magazine. Now if you didn't know we publish Miniature War Games magazine as a monthly publication it is great fun to be a part of and it covers mostly historical but with some fantasy elements too. And if you didn't know he existed now you do! Now, with John having been put 100% on the spot and forced to come up with five answers very quickly, he did so marvellously and I wanted to share those with you today. Now, the caveat of course being is there may be others because again, he was popped on the spot. So if you have any that you would add to the list, please do let me know in the comments below. Also, we're looking at ones that are more of like a one-stop shop for beginners. You can go to one place and pick up everything that you need in that realm and that agreement. So your rule books, your miniatures, any advice that you need, are they good enough to get started with? Those sorts of things are what's considered within this. So there may be better rule sets to pick up, but more difficulty in getting miniatures, for example, those haven't been included on a list such as this. However, we have got five for you that are perfect for newcomers to historical miniature war games. Again, if you've got any more for me, let me know in the comments. But without further ado, let's take a look. So, number one is Bolt Action. Now I'm specifically talking about the period of the Fifth World War and they cover pretty much everything you can think of in terms of battles. So from Blitzkrieg to the Russian Front to the D-Day landings, those are all included within it. Now that means that you can really narrow down on the areas that you are most interested in. So for example, if you prefer conflicts that are based in North Africa, you can pick up the rule sets and the miniatures alongside those to create your game that way. Now rules wise, they're quite easy to pick up and quite easy to just get going which is all you really want to do when you're starting as well as being able to pick up those miniatures to go alongside to make sure that you're matching up and that you're able to play a full game from the outset for that reason bolt action is on the list now we don't stop there though because of course that is now expanding there are also exist things like bolt action korea so once you get the hang of one your world war ii ones for example you can then move on to others such as the korea ones if you want to now, that's relatively modern in the scheme of historical gaming. Um, what if we go all the way back to the ancient period? And we're going to do that with Mortem et Glorium. I've been so worried about saying that wrong. These are going to give you battle rules from 2500 BC all the way up to 1500 BC. It was self-published in 2016. It is now being published by the Plastic Soldier Company, PSC Games, so you can check those out for everything that you need there. But this is one of the more comprehensive, perhaps the most popular it's difficult to say that without any sort of conventional evidence but a very popular rule set for ancient period or classical period where you have sort of your greeks and such all included this is a great way to get started in that period all right let's swing back maybe i've gone too far back you want a little bit further back than world war ii but maybe not the entire way going from 1700 to 1900 we have black powder that covers that huge time span and within that we have things like the napoleonic wars the american civil war we've also got the anglo zulu war we've also got others that are in between so if you like that period of sort of muskets this is the one for you now of course with things like the napoleonic era that's one of the more popular eras to play um so it may be that you're able to find other miniatures and things to include it may be that you find a little bit more support around those so that's just something to consider when you're starting out the more popular the era probably the more support or the easier it is that you're going to be able to find help if you need it Having said that, if there is a particular area of history that you are interested in, there are miniature war games for all of those. And this covers a really big period in a really nice way with a set of rules that are great for new players. Okay, we're swinging through history now. So if we come back more to a modern period, like the Cold War era, for example, one that we would recommend is Team Yankee. It looks an almost alternative history, as it were, with a World War Three is how they pitch their main one. Um, and that is then going to look at battles that simmered beneath that conflict of Cold War war that means that you can play with more modern weaponry if that's your preference um, and means you can think more in terms of a era that's perhaps more familiar to you and um, that you may be more specifically aware of than ones that are actually fully historical this one is set in history but a little bit less than you plus with this one the range is huge you can find tons of stuff to fit your playstyle and to fit your preferences and what it is that you want to play to Finally, if we head back in history once again from 1700 this time all the way up to 1865, we have Sharp Practice by Two Fat Lardies. Now this covers large scale skirmishes in that period, so you're talking 40 or 60 aside, but you can go up to 100 if you prefer. This covers of course the Black Powder era and means that you can pick up rule sets for all sorts of diff different battles that occurred within that period. The nice thing about these is they're a really streamlined set of rules going from sort of first edition onwards, they've been really sort of finessed into a way that makes them easy to just pick up and play. 
And given the topics they cover, your ability to pick up miniatures is pretty easy. They're basically universally available. You'll be able to pick those up with no worries. So hopefully that helps. That is five games to start you into the world of historical wargaming. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, please do give us a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed, although maybe they're the other way around when they're on your screen. Um, but let us know if you enjoyed in the comments any that you would add to this as well. Now, I've been Charlie with Tabletop Gaming. You can head to tabletopgaming.co.uk for more tabletop goodness and also to pick up a subscription to Miniature Wargames magazine if you're interested. It has tons of great tips every month uh, and we're talking to big industry leaders each time about what it is they're doing and why we're excited about it so it's a really great one to pick up if you're a fan already and if not well you've just had five games to get involved so you may as well once again thank you so much for watching have a great day and see you soon